Good day everyone. Welcome to Sosin Classes. This is Hima Hegde presenting before you a video series on the topic climatic regions around the world. This is the seventh part in the video series. The climatic region under focus in today's video is going to be the Taiga region. The Taiga region also goes by the names cool temperate continental climatic region and the Siberian climatic region. It has to do with the distribution. Let us now look at its distribution. On the right hand side there is a map of the world depicting the distribution of the taiga climatic region it is only confined to the continents with a broad east west spread as a result it is not seen in the southern hemisphere and is only confined to the northern hemisphere we see it in siberia in russia in scandinavia and also northern canada let us now look at the climatic conditions coming to the temperature this region is called as the cold pole of the earth This is because the taiga climatic region is known to have extremely cold and long winters. The summers are not warm either, they are cold and brief. Coming to the precipitation, this region is far isolated from the maritime influence. As a result, there is very little rainfall and whatever rainfall is obtained that is associated with the temperate cyclones. Coming to the vegetation, We have already seen that the climatic regions uh, the climatic conditions in taiga are extremely harsh it is bitterly cold as a result only a certain kind of trees have been able to adapt to this in hospitable regions the evergreen and the most commonly found trees include juniper birch spruce etc and all of them are softwood trees because they are softwood it becomes easy for the lumbering and this softwood is used for construction activities for making match boxes and also for making furniture eurasia and north america have been the best sources for softwood as we have seen that the amount of sunlight reaching this area is very low the photo, uh, energy generated from photosynthesis is also quite less however the dark green leaves of these trees promote better absorption of sunlight let us now look at the fauna The cold climatic conditions make it inhospitable or a challenging place for the amphibians and reptiles. However, taiga has been a home for a wide variety of herbivorous mammals like moose, reindeers and bisons. Also small rodent species like squirrels, beavers are found here. Wide variety of birds have also been migrating to this region in summers. Let us now look at the economy. We have already seen that the softwood is used in variety of construction activities, furniture making and many more. Agriculture is not as favorable due to the climatic conditions. Other than that, fishing is a commonly followed economic activity in the taiga climatic region. With that, we have come to an end of this video. Hope you found it informative. For any enquiries regarding anthropology or the courses available in sourcing classes, Kindly visit www.sourcingclasses.com. Thank you.